Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Saturday which means that a new batch of content has just dropped on the Concept Bay platform. So let's take a look at what subjects we've covered during this week of development. This week for the Dream Team Theater has pretty much all been about the creation, rigging and trying to animate the pair of hands holding the gun that you've seen me work in the game so far. While the modeling stage was pretty straightforward and the rigging stage a little bit more challenging, the animation stage, whoo, oh boy, let me tell ya, Gadot does not like standards. So the standard procedure for rigging and animating hands that I've done in another engine called Leadworks did not work with Gadot Engine. And this is in part due to the fact that Gadot Engine doesn't work with the industry standard file formats. I mean, it just about received support for FBX formats, but barely, and that didn't even work correctly. But the other formats that it's using, that it's relying on when it comes to 3D are open source formats, GLTF and Open Colada. And I don't know what it is about those two formats, but they just did not sit with the way I was rigging hands. I actually spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out what was wrong. It quite literally took me the entire week trying to figure out how to get the animations and rigs to go to Godot, how to get my animations baked and imported into Godot Engine. It was a very, very, very frustrating week for me. It is Saturday today, and with some help, with quite a bit of help, after I went to the lead developer's Twitter and posted my two cents about the shit show that's going on with the import procedures and with the documentation, there is no documentation about how to properly set up a rig, how to properly set up your IK bones, bake the animation and get it into Godot engine from scratch. There's no documentation. You, this, It's a clown fest. You have to figure this out by yourself. Yes, I'm venting. I'm sorry it's here, but I figured it out today. That's right. The day when all of the content is supposed to drop is the day when I figure this out. So now I can't wait until the next Saturday's content drop when this explanation when the solution is going to go live to the platform. This has been such a tremendously frustrating problem because of the lack of documentation or some sort of standardized template or example that I can follow with that it pretty much took almost the entire development time for this particular week to figure this out. And at some point, after a few failed attempts, I just stopped recording and I just started experimenting. This, There's no reason for me to document more than two failures. So this has been a week of learning for me. I have been experimenting, doing trial and error, consulting with folks on the Discord forum and trying to get the animations to work properly. While everybody says we have no issues. Well, if you have no issues, I would like to find out your process. And the lack of that information is what drove me up the wall. It's great that it works for you. It doesn't work for me and that's what I care about. Nobody cares that it works for you. Everybody wants to get their rig up and running and their animations up and running. So I can't wait to actually cover this subject and give you all that you need to know to get the animations in and properly working for your rigs into Godot Engine. <sighs> so this entire week has been all about me figuring this out. So you'll find about seven episodes of content of me modeling and rigging. And uh, the last two or three episodes was pretty much all about me experimenting and trying to figure out how to get the animations into Godot. You will find that this particular update is actually gonna be quite a bit shorter than the last one. And that's because in the last one, I had about three months of content to actually get through. While here, this is just a week to week thing. Let's go ahead and move on to the new content for the next project on the list. For Child of Ether, I have been working on the draft animations for the eight directional movement scheme. Since the character exists in a 3D space and it's a 2D character, I essentially have to animate eight different points of direction. I tried working with uh, just up, down, left and right. And to be honest, it just looks kind of, uh, it just looks kind of uncanny. But after I have uh, gone ahead and put in my eight directions of animation, yes, it is going to be quite a bit of work to get all those animations for many different characters. But the end result is actually 
very quite nice. So you will see me uh, using classical two-dimensional animation in order to create the walk cycles. We're gonna use a couple of standard animation principles to get the walking animation looking proper. There's uh, a few things that we can use to really sell the walk cycle, especially since we're dealing with uh, two-dimensional classical animation. And uh, we get into the game and uh, test out all the control schemes. We do program the sprite switching in such a way that uh, doesn't make our game constantly load and unload sprites because that would not be smart for as long as you're holding down the keys and i gotta say even for a draft animation the uh, end effect has been uh, quite positive in my particular opinion i really do like the way the character feels when he's uh running around in the environment all that i have to do now is to create idle frames which also rotate depending on the camera position so that when the camera orbits around the player the uh, angle also changes. It doesn't only change when you're running around in a certain direction. That is something that I'm actually looking forward to implementing as well. Uh, and uh, this sort of effect, I am getting a lot of inspiration from an old MMO uh, that I used to play when I was a kid called uh, Ragnarok. They have a really cool implementation of the camera system. So I'm borrowing uh, their technique and using it in this particular game. Now, as I mentioned before, I would have made a heck of a lot more progress on this particular project this week if it weren't for the troubles with the 3D imports that I had to figure for the Dream Team Theater with Godot Engine. So that has eaten up a large chunk of my time and most of the experimentation, which is just me doing the same thing over and over again like a crazy maniac, hasn't been documented so that's not going to be going to the website it's kind of redundant content at that point but something else that i have been working on uh that isn't on the con on the platform right now but that's going to be there soon is a demo for a number of different subjects for an engine called leadworks there is going to be an instancing tutorial coming to the leadworks course on the platform and alongside with that leadworks course for instancing there's going to be a little something something for you to uh, nibble on and uh as a little teaser i'm going to show you the result of the modeling rigging and animating process which you will learn about once this particular lesson drops on the platform everybody for watching this overview this content is now available on the concept bay platform so head on over to the concept and sign up for an all access pass to get access to all of the live streams educational content development streams and tutorials all under one same membership i will see you guys next saturday during the next content report